today I just paid my renewal for Claude Code after one month of use. I didn't know a month ago if I would keep it. I was one of the biggest Cursor fans. I started using it about the time Sonnet 3.5 came out when everybody started jumping onto using Cursor in Windsurf because that's when everything changed. That's when Claude got really good. That's when it just started to feel like magic and everything started to fall together. And it's been a crazy ride with Cursor. Over the last few months, I wasn't even looking to change. I was happy with Cursor. The BMED method, you all know I've always preached, go into the web, do your planning in the web, and then get that stuff into Cursor or whatever you're using, save yourself some money, and then move forward with it. One of the biggest challenges always with Cursor has been that context window and the small context window that Cursor gives you where, you know, you have a few turns of a chat and you're already running out of the context, like the cursor run for it, right? All of a sudden your window's full, it's going to start hallucinating. It gives you the warning. You got to click the button to start a new chat. Hopefully it carries the context forward or you have to have other techniques. And it's frustrating because sometimes even in the BMAD method with the small granular stories for the developer, it can't always get through the story without eating up the full context. The other issue is if you ever wanted to do the PRD and the architecture in cursor, doing everything in the IDE, because that really would be the dream, right? You're burning up credits. You're paying that $20 a month and you're hitting your 500 credit limit within a few days. And so then cursor comes out with their updates when 3.7 Sonic came out and they release, release max mode. And then this is where the shift in cursor really started to change for me because all of a sudden the experience of not using max mode just wasn't as good. And then they started charging extra for thinking models. And then you're paying per credit. So you're paying a subscription and then you're also paying per credit. And if you don't pay attention, those costs go up quick. Now we're on Discord, by the way, but we had some discussion threads in GitHub. Somebody went in there and made this claim. It just got stuck in my head and I couldn't stop thinking about this message that I read. And it was something along the lines of, I just used Claude code for almost eight hours straight in the same chat thread, never having to switch to a new window. And I still haven't used up all my usage. And for one fee, the hundred dollars a month that I'm paying, I never run out. And again, this just sounds like junk because who can have any chat with an LLM for hours, let alone Claude, because if you've ever used at least the free version or the $20 version of Claude desktop. It seems like you couldn't have a conversation with Claude more than four or five turn, turns and it'd be like, okay, you got to wait five hours. You've used up all your time. So I'm like, oh, this is just utter BS. But that thought just, I'm like, could this be real? This is impossible. But the idea was there. I couldn't get it out of my mind. So I'm just thinking, let me. Just give this a shot. I said, a hundred dollars is a lot, but it's cheaper than what I could potentially end up spending if I actually want to use the premium models. So it's, it's worth a shot. And so I went into it within the first day, I was like, just blown away. Like the experience was almost as significant or maybe even more significant. Then the first time I started using the agent mode and cursor and seeing the potential of that, I think everybody remembers that first time they started using the agent and cursor or windsurf or any of these agentic tools and just the utter amazement and seeming magic of what the agent can do. This felt like that all over again. It was almost like the magic of discovering that for the first time, but this felt more significant. This now felt like a tool that I was not having to babysit and manage as much in worrying what I do and don't do in there. There was this whole other aspect too. So I didn't really plan to enjoy the experience of Claude Code. I liked something about the IDE window in cursor, like it was self-contained, it was right there. I did not think I would enjoy using a terminal whatsoever. The first time I used, started using Claude Code, in the terminal, 
I gave it a pretty challenging task. I don't remember what that first task was, but it created a task list on its own and started bro- breaking down what it was going to do until 10 or 12 steps. And it did them all and it did them all perfectly. Think about how many times you've asked any of the LLMs, especially in cursor, even with the same model, even with the Sonnet 4.0 model, go in and update all these files and do something. And maybe it'll identify all the files and then it will change three of them and tell you it's done. Or it'll say, okay, I've updated these four files. Then you have to say, okay, do the rest. And then it'll do two more and be like, okay, I did two more. And you're having to babysit it and tell it, okay, please just do them all. Just do them all. And it'll say, okay, I will do them all. And what does it do? It does two more. A month ago, the first time I used Claude code and I saw it produce this task list and keep checking, like I didn't even ask it to do it. And like, this is becoming more commonplace now. So this is a month on and all the products are now building out this internal tasking. So it probably doesn't seem as magical unless you haven't experienced it yet. But seeing that for the first time, I'm like, this is something special right here. And then you start realizing the terminal is actually freeing because you can do so much with it. And then Gemini CLI came out about a week and a half ago, and I was super excited about that. Because up until that point, I was still doing all the planning in the web, thinking I needed to keep that cost down. For some reason, I just didn't make the mind switch of, oh, I don't have limits anymore. I'm not running out. I can start doing all of this in Claude code. I should say also, I am not sponsored by anybody. I think it's worth trying, but I'm not trying to sell anybody on this. I'm just sharing my experience. Do not buy a year long subscription to any of these LLM companies right now. If this experience changed with Claude code tomorrow, I would be out, learn the concepts and techniques. That's something I've said over and over again. This is the best thing going, but Gemini CLI came out and I was excited. I'm like, this is great. And I think Gemini CLI is going to be great, but right now it's free. And so I'm like, I want to take advantage of the terminal and try building the PRDs and the architectures and doing all the planning and following my templates. So it comes out in the format I want in the IDE. And the nice thing about it is I can have it keep writing to the file. So I don't have to deal with exporting it and saving it somewhere else. It's constantly writing to a file as I'm using it. The best experience has never been having to do some stuff in the web and some stuff in the terminal. The more we can do with the agents in one location, the better. The future is agents. I talked about that in the last video. You're gonna to talk to an agent and it's gonna do many different things for you. Maybe it's talking to other agents, maybe it's talking to other services, but it's all gonna be through potentially one surface or one interface. And that's how I feel working with these agentic tools in the IDEs also. I want it to all be there and be self-contained. And now we can do that with the Gemini, but the Gemini experience is still not great yet. It's still buggy, it breaks, and randomly with this free, I'm gonna call it a trial because I think it's, this is obviously not gonna be free forever. They've even said, I think this is for them to get a lot of training data and also just to work out the bugs and kinks in their tool they are going to start charging. They'll go to a subscription model. I think it'll be competitive with Claude code, but right now there's a lot of bugs in it and they know they can't charge for it. But what it works pretty good. But the other big issue with Gemini CLI right now is it randomly switches to flash. I think it depends on how much usage is going into it. And when it switches to flash, it just kills the experience. It kills the immersion of working with the full 2.5 pro model. So that is one of the downsides to it, but it got me to thinking 200 K context that you get with Claude code and the way it optimizes things where it feels like it's much, much more, why not just start doing that? So that's about a week ago when I started having issues with Gemini CLI and I still keep trying it every few days. I still use it for some things, but I started doing the full BMAD workflow all in the terminal. And it has been the best experience ever. Being able to actually produce the drafts or the documents or refine the documents in real time while it's constantly updating the file is wonderful. 
and I'm not worrying about that cursor wasting all my credits and running out of cash. This really is the ultimate setup. No more worry about what model I'm using. I use Opus or I use Sonnet 4 and it's perfect for everything I need. I was concerned about what I like the terminal experience. I am a convert. I think everything should be terminal experience. That also just avoids the lock-in. I canceled my cursor subscription, no more. And what's, what they did recently with their introduction of their $200 plan, which sounded like a great idea, but then basically crippled their $20 plan. And now they're cuddling back from that, it looks like. Right now, Claude Code is so good and it's giving me everything I need. And it's all in the terminal. That terminal experience, I didn't think I would like it, but I'm telling you, it is, there's something about it. It works great. I can use it in VS Code. It still links to VS Code in a way that it knows what file you have open. This is an exciting time to be using these tools. Don't lock yourself into one tool. Try different things. But right now, $100 a month, I really don't think you can beat this. I never thought I would have to stop worrying about Oh, my context window is almost done and I'm in the middle of this and I got to switch over. That was the worst. And that's probably the other reason I am not coming back to cursor right now, F forgetting all the price shenanigans and everything else. I've seen the light in what is possible with these other tools. It's hard to go back. What's coming with Gemini CLI. I think it's going to be amazing when they get the bugs worked out. We'll see what their pricing models. I bet it'll be competitive with Claude code when they start charging. And Cloud Code, they're going to have to do something to maintain competitive because they have obviously see the behemoth coming for them. But all this means is it's great for us. These tools are going to get better and cheaper. I think they're both going to have to keep their costs down. I don't know how they're making money with it or what, but it's going to be a very competitive space. And I think we all went out of it. So don't lock yourselves in. Give some of these terminal agents a try and see what you think. There's so much more I haven't even covered that is so powerful about these. When you get that ability to use Opus for a lot of it and Sonnet 4 for the rest of it, doing full thinking modes and not worrying that I'm now paying extra credits or I don't know how much I'm actually racking up in cost. It's just, it's a beautiful freeing thing. You can focus on your task at hand. You can focus on the job and what you're trying to do while not also mentally juggling so I'm not using any credits or, oh, this one's only half a credit this week and it's on sale. So maybe I'll use this cheaper one right now, even though I know the, forget all of that. Use the tool that works and not have to have the stress of dealing with that while also trying to actually build a product or, or use this to ideate or build and plan or do so much more. Cause again, these tools are for so much more than just coding. Yeah. It's like magic guys. Look, I wanted to give it a full month before I kind of shared my thoughts on Claude Code. And I know I'm behind the hype wagon now because again, there's already new stuff coming out. I'll just say, I did not go into this expecting to like this much. This is how hyped I am of it. And the ability to now do the full BMED method and use these agents all within the same interface is just wonderful. Thank you for the more than 5,000 that have subscribed to this channel. I really appreciate every one of you more than you can know. If you haven't joined the Discord, please do and share your thoughts, whether you're using the BMAD method or if you have other ideas or improvements or how you're using agents or agentic tools, I would love to hear about it and just chat. So stop by and we'll see everybody soon in the next video.